All right. Uh, this is uh, the last part of uh, this module, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and the compositions. In this, uh, in this module, we started the linear transformation, uh, then we provided a, a definition for eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Uh, we continued with LU decomposition and QR decomposition. We tried to elaborate on each of them and how we can find them using Python and MATLAB. And now we are going to talk about uh, the last two decompositions that we are going to cover here, eigen decomposition and singular value decomposition. All right, and eigen decomposition. First, we start with definition of eigen decomposition. And then we see how we can find the eigen decomposition using Python uh, and MATLAB. So eigen decomposition is the factorization of a matrix into a diagonal matrix uh, and of its eigenvalues and a matrix such as Q of eigenvectors as the uh, columns of the matrix. All right. So and now I want to show you how we find this diagonal matrix. This diagonal matrix is a matrix that only the diagonal elements are the eigenvalues. All the other elements are equal to zero. Let's say A is n by n. This is also n by n. And what is Q matrix? Q includes the eigenvectors. Let's call the eigenvector one V sub one, V sub two, and V sub n. If I want to provide an example, let's say eigenvalues of matrix A, which is two by two, or lambda one equal to four, lambda two is equal to one, and its eigenvectors V sub one is one, two, V sub two is minus one, six. In this case, we have A is equal to Q, which is putting these two vectors together, one, two, minus one, six. And then we put these eigenvalues on the diagonal of this matrix, four and one, zero, zero, and then Q inverse. So this is the eigenvalue decomposition. Not all matrices can be decomposed as such. Only diagonal, diagonalizable matrices can be decomposed by the eigen decomposition method. And also, this is very important, it's limited because it only works on S square matrices. So, how do we do uh, eigen decomposition? That's quite straightforward. First, we find all eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Then, uh, we consider this matrix to be diagonalized version of all eigenvalues and Q matrix, as I said, each column is one of the eigenvectors. All right, now that we have an idea of how to uh, use this decomposition, we want to see how we can find eigen decomposition in Python. The script lambdas and uh, comma v is equal to NumPy library, linear algebra, I of A, EIG of A in Python NumPy library gives us the eigenvalue and eigenvectors of matrix A. Lambdas is all of the eigenvalues of this matrix, and V is a matrix that includes all of the eigenvectors. So if we use numpy.linearalgebra.diag lambdas, this is going to give us the matrix. And uh, the diagonal matrix that includes lambdas on the diagonal. And all other, and all other elements are zero. In MATLAB, however, it directly gives us this diagonal matrix. So we have V and D are equal to R E I G of A to find D, which is a diagonal matrix including eigenvalues. So this step is already taken care of. And V matrix of eigenvectors. Uh, to determine eigen decomposition, decomposition of matrix A. So we are going to have A is equal to V, D, V inverse. All right. 
Uh, I add a link uh, to this video. You can watch that link uh, for seeing more details of how to implement this in Python, if you're interested in using it uh, for the future purpose. All right. Uh, now let's talk about singular value decomposition. We want to see the definition of singular value decomposition, the process, and some of the applications uh, that benefit from singular value decomposition. So for singular value decomposition, it's a generalized version of eigen decomposition. Whereas eigen decomposition only works on S square matrices, but singular value decomposition works on any arbitrary n by n matrix. So SVD factorizes a matrix A into three matrices. First, a diagonal matrix sigma, which is an uh, and also an orthogonal matrix U of dimension M by M, and another orthogonal matrix V of dimension N by N. So V is N by N, U is N by M, and the diagonal matrix sigma. The values along the diagonal matrix uh, sigma are known as the singular values of this matrix. That's why we call it singular value decomposition. So we decompose A into orthogonal matrix U, diagonal matrix sigma, and another orthogonal matrix V transpose. All right, how do we do that? SVD is computed by finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of A multiplied by A transpose and A transpose multiplied by A. So you can see here, even A is not necessarily a square, but when you find A, A transpose, A is N by N, A transpose is N by N. So it's going to be A, A transpose is an M by M matrix, which is a S square matrix. And you can find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of that uh, using Python or math. So the eigenvectors of A transpose A are going to give us the columns of V. So each eigenvector is one column of V. The eigenvectors of matrix A, A transpose gives us U. So each of these are one column. So let's see what's the dimension of A transpose A. A transpose is N by N, N by N. So this is N by N, this is N by N. So V is also N by N, and U is N by N. Let me write it here. A was U, sigma V transpose. So A was N by N, U is N by N, V is N by N. All right. The S square root of eigenvalues of A, A transpose, or A transpose A make up the diagonal elements of matrix sigma. And we write them in the reducing or descending order. We can easily find the this uh, SVD decomposition using Python singular value decomposition package uh, from the NumPy library. I'm going to show the scripts here. In Python, the script U, S, and V transpose. So we had A is equal to U, sigma, V transpose. So in Python, it finds U, S, and V, T. So V, T is V transpose, S is sigma, and U is matrix U. It's in NumPy library, dot linear algebra, dot SVD of matrix A is equal to U, S, and V, T. As you can see, it's very convenient. Using NumPy library, we can find the singular value decomposition of matrix A. In MATLAB, it's a little bit different. We use U comma S comma V is equal to SVD of A. This gives us U, S, and V. So when we want to find matrix A, you have to transpose V. So this only give from A is U sigma V transpose. It gives us U, matrix U, matrix sigma, and matrix V. In Python, it gives us directly V transpose. 
But in MATLAB, it gives us V. All right, singular value decomposition has several applications, such as in least square problems, image compression, recommendation systems, handwritten digital recognition, and image reconstruction. So in this lecture, we talked about two new decompositions. Eugen decomposition, which was A is equal to Q matrix, a diagonal matrix with all the Eugen values, Q inverse. Q is Eugen, includes Eugen vectors of matrix A. And this matrix includes diagonal elements or the Eugen values of matrix A. And we also talked about SVD. So the issue with Eugen decomposition was only for A, N by N, or a square matrix. But SVD was more generaliz generalizable, U, Sigma, V transpose. Uh, so uh, Sigma includes the diagonal elements, its diagonal elements or eigenvalues of A, A transpose, or A transpose A, and we call them the singular values. SVD has one advantage over eigen decomposition. It's for any A, M by N. So it should not necessarily be a square uh, for us to find the SVD. So SVD is somehow the generalized version of eigen decomposition. That was all for this module, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and decomposition.